what is up? I am the Geek. Uh, it's another Former Fridays. I'm sorry about last week. I had a small hiccup. Uh, let's just say I made a mistake and it cost me a week's worth of episodes. But today we are back on track and we are going to take a look at a diecast figure. Um, I think they were called Titanium series. I'm not 100%. And I'm very, very tired and drained from a situation I'll get into in a few minutes. So I'm not going to take the time to research it because I'm lazy. But you guys should know that by now. But we're going to take a look at what I assume is a Titanium Series Soundwave figure. So let's just jump right into that. Okay guys, this is the Titanium Series Soundwave. As you can see, he is a tape player, which is something that stands him apart from most Soundwave figures we've seen recently since the vintage lines because they're always trying to reinvent Soundwave as something else. I've seen him as a jet, as a car, as a... I think I saw him as a CD player once. Seen him as a tank. But as far as I can recall, since the original run, this is the only time I've seen him as a tape player again. Well, okay, except for the Masterpiece Wave, which I really wish I could afford to get. But this is as close as I'm going to get right now to tape player sound wave. And he's made out of die cast metal. Wait. Oh, and he's very breakable. That's okay, those uh wow. There. Okay. Yeah, he's the limbs come off once in a while on these and that sucks, but it's usually the ones that come off like that are easily repairable. And yeah, this is mostly all the blue on him with the exception of the head and the arms, is die-cast metal. And he's even got a tape inside him. Let's see if we can get it out. Now, I don't remember if this is Buzzsaw or Laserbeak, but I choose to believe it's Buzzsaw, because that's the tape that actually came with him back in the day. And he's so small, it's kind of hard to see that. So small. And um, one thing I feel I need to point out is this base here actually had a Decepticon logo and the name Soundwave on it. Now, I know I have it, but I couldn't find it. But the thing is, each one of these Titanium figures came with this base and the symbol of the group they belong to, either Autobot or Decepticon, and their name. But the way to save cost was they just make a bunch of these and then a bunch of those logo plates. And then the only thing that's different is the sticker with Autobot or Decepticon symbol and their name on it. So that's why these are always interchangeable. But that's Soundwave as he is now. We're going to switch him out into robot mode and see how that looks. Okay, so this is Soundwave in robot mode. Um, I'm not liking this transformation. And, and Okay, as a figure, it's pretty cool, but the problem I'm finding with these titanium figures is that they're very bulky and they're very unreliable. And I think this is a big reason why they left the die cast idea back in the 80s. These legs are very very twitchy and the subject to like see that? That's not supposed to do that. And yeah, so let me fix that really quick. There. And oh, and now the other leg is goofing. There we go. But so yeah, it's it's really temperamental and the transformation doesn't feel solid. But I do like some of this stuff, like for example, as I said, Buzzsaw transforms just like Soundwave does, but he's all plastic. There's no die cast on him. And then he's got the two batteries, one of which goes on here, and one of which actually comes out. Ugh. So that actually transforms from battery to gun. And I took it out of his hand. But you can see how that works. And I'm not going to bother putting that back in. And it's a pretty, it's very simple transformation, just like the original figure. And in case you're wondering, the batteries actually fit into the little pegs on his back. I'm still having trouble keeping him standing because he's so temperamental. But, ugh. Damn. There. But if you can find him for a cheap price, I would kind of recommend him. If you can find him for like 20 bucks, maybe 30, yeah. But me being poor and having to pick my figures very carefully, I would pass this guy. Uh, go after Combiner Wars figures. Go after 
masterpiece figures. Don't go after the Titanium War figures. They're they were kind of a fad. They were enjoyable when they were out, but then the masterpiece figures came out and blew these guys out of the water. So yeah, pass up on this sound wave. Get yourself the masterpiece figure. He's a lot more expensive, but he's a lot more worth it. Okay, so that was Soundwave. Uh, pretty entertaining figure if you can afford him. I got lucky and just found him one day. Anyway, uh, that's it for today's Formers Fridays. If next week's Formers Fridays is late or missing, it's because I was completely drained from this weekend because starting yesterday, uh, I started going to... An no, not Anime Detour. That was a while ago. You've seen that video. Yesterday... I finally started going to Convergence, which I think I told you guys about in my other show a while ago. Anyway, um, so yeah, I am getting ready for Convergence. So I got my bag here. Old school, Club Nintendo. Can't go wrong with those. Getting sound out of my hair. Now where is my 3DS? Okay, got my 3DS, got my other two which I had in there earlier, and I am ready for convergence. So I will see you guys next week, hopefully. Um, if you want to see how convergence went for me, as soon as I'm done with convergence, I will be putting a video together. It might be a, another week or so, but eventually my convergence video will be online, and that will be on my page. Or my 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 YouTube channel, the Geek Reviews, and since I got you guys, and I should have brought this up a long time ago, I've got a little contest going on over there. If you comment on any video between I want to say 43 and 49, I might be off on 43. I'm not sure. Uh, let's just say 44 to be safe. Between 44 and 49, you comment on any of those episodes on YouTube. You are in a running to win this. Dirt reviewed this and one other figure about a year or two ago. I don't remember the name, but he's from the Transformers Beast Wars Neo series over in Japan. We never got this figure. It's a Tanuki Raccoon Dog. I don't know what it's called. But he's got a clock on him. That's cool. And he's battery operated. You put a couple of double A's or triple A's in here. And the clock will work. I don't know if it'll run properly because he's an old figure. But he's still in his original packaging. I actually have one already. This is the one Dirt actually reviewed. I mailed it to him. He reviewed it and mailed it back. And I got a spare at Detour last year. So I thought I'd spread the love. So go over to Geek Reviews, rev uh, watch a video, comment on it, and you have a chance of winning this thing. So. That's it for me today. I am going to Convergence. So, until next time, this is the Geek saying good cheer.